Seeing the stuff they're posting, I mean, it is insane. I know. It just goes to show, flash flooding, it can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. And you know, water is one of those things where it's very deceiving because you can see it, you can see it moving. People just don't really understand the power of it. And mm -hmm. you know, you might be thinking, well, you know, rainfall rates were exceeding one to three inches per hour. You're like, that doesn't sound that much, but like to actually see it and just the sheer volume of yeah. it, it doesn't matter what the infrastructure is. No. It is just going to completely just flood and it's going to be overwhelming. We had family, I said this yesterday, that had to, uh, that live in New York City, they had to go home from work early on Friday mm -hmm. just before the subways closed. Yeah. I mean, that's it's, crazy. It's a mess. That's a huge impact. I know. And mm -hmm. you know, for us, like, we would love to have some rain, and that has just been insanely hard to come by for us. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you know, we haven't been dealing with flash flooding, but even during the times where we are dealing with drought conditions, when we do get heavy rains, you would think, okay, that's great for the soil. It is, but all of it at once is never a good thing. And no. I think you could, you could apply that in many things in life <laughs> yeah. other than just the moderation. weather. Moderation. Certainly, you know, moderation is the way to go, and we got a lot of moderating temperatures for us as we head into next week. Not only that, quite a, the amount of sunshine, so a nice change of pace for us. Still looking at a few areas dealing with some fog out there, but temperature wise, very comfortable. Low 50s across most of central Ohio. We had a few places into the 40s, just jumped up to 55 in Coshocton. It's 52 in Lancaster and 57 here in Columbus. Some chilly spots on the map might coincide with where you're dealing with some of the fog because that's kind of trapped some of the cooler air near the surface where you can still see some areas outside of Franklin County and surrounding central Ohio where we're possibly still dealing with some patchy to dense fog in spots looking like that's going to be mainly into northern Ohio where things are going to be most dense going into the 9 10 o'clock hour but nice and dry on radar we're not dealing with any rain today or the next several days so take the car for a car wash Grilling outside, nothing going to be holding you back today. Might be sweating a little bit, man in the grill, though, into this afternoon because temperatures are going to be warming up quite a bit for us as we head into this afternoon. Areas of patchy fog for the first half of the morning, then things clearing up nicely. Light breeze out of the northeast. Temperatures climbing into the low 80s for us today. This evening, very nice. Temperatures will be falling into the 60s shortly after 8 o'clock. And then before you know it, we're going to be waking up to another cool and refreshing start to the day for your Monday. Temperatures back in the low 60s upper 50s 75 by 12 o'clock and back into the 80s for us so things are going to be staying pretty warm unseasonably warm in fact normally our average high is at 72 degrees so we're looking at 5 to 15 degrees above average over the next several days that will however be flip-flop so we're going from one extreme to another what we're looking at here is essentially the changes in temper pressure with the jet stream. And where we're seeing a lot of these different colors together, that's where we're looking at a larger difference in temperature. But for our weather, recently things have been pretty calm and stagnant, if you will. We haven't seen many changes in the forecast going into next week, but eventually we're going to see a shift in the jet stream. And what we're seeing here is a big change in pressure and temperature correlated to what's going on in the jet stream to the surface, which means we are going to see some big changes in our weather. That is ultimately going to lead to chances for rain, but more importantly, a significant drop in these temperatures, which are going to be well above average for us through the course of much of next week. We'll see a chance for some rain Thursday, but this next cold front that's coming through, not looking like it's going to be 100% a washout. We're looking at scattered rain showers for now, but we're talking a change from highs in the mid 80s to perhaps right around 60 degrees, and it's going to be strong enough to bring not only that of some cooler weather during the daytime hours, but more importantly, especially Especially for those of you that are still, you know, hanging on with the garden, trying to uh, scavenge as much as you can before we see, you know, frost and of course cooler weather eventually arrive to central Ohio. It's looking like we could see our first real big threat for some patchy frost going into your Sunday morning and then looking like we'll spend a lot of time into the low 40s. So starting to really feel and look more like fall heading into next weekend. Lindsay.